All right, guys, I know I've been gone for a minute, but uh, I don't know. I've been having a lot to do, not a lot of time to film. My industrial sewing machine went out, so I was in the process of trying to figure that out. The guy tried to claim it cost too much to get fixed. I think I got to find another shop, but I might just buy me a brand new machine. But it's just been so much going on like everybody else who's in the house these days. It's 90, 90 degrees here and, you know, in the shop I do got an air conditioner going in here. But uh, I've just been doing a lot of different stuff, guys. But, yeah, just getting you caught up on where I'm at with the 77 here, so. All right, guys, hey, coming here today show you how to just fix the patch here so what ended up happening is that I be doing so much and I normally make out a checklist but when I got done with this car it was a piece here that like I said most people would probably just mud this up because it wasn't that big it's just uh piece here and then back here I got to secure this up and everything so I got to bend this down up and back down and secure it on this this bottom piece and seal this piece completely up like I say a lot of people would have just slapped mud or something in there but that ain't the way I like to do stuff so I'm gonna come in now and the thing is that I'm gonna be able to patch this do a little light body work and fix this and my chrome comes up to about here so I got a lot of room to play with so I'm gonna show you the processes here so first I just come in and I I know people measure and do all of that but I just like doing things simple so I take my finger and uh, then I got a I got my pattern there, so I come through, mark this out, make a straighter line, but when I cut it, it'll be straight. Now I'm going to bring this down because this is going to fold in and then back down, so give myself plenty of room to play with this here. After I get this all cut up, I took it to the vise, uh, marked my line here and here on this piece of metal, here and here on this piece of metal. And then I bent it up some. I'm probably going to have to go back in there. So then this is going to fit in here. Okay, but now I have to mark another line. Then I'm going to bend this the opposite way so it will bend down this way. So... Um, then that piece should be pretty much fitted up in there. So I'm going to bring you in here to show you here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grind all of this down, get all of this metal clean here. And um, I come in and pour 15 after I get done. But just using hammer, dolly, and a vise. So I got this piece been up here that goes that's gonna go in here so I'm not gonna show you me welding it up and I didn't show me hammering it out but anybody a little common sense you you'll get it so in other words what I'm gonna do I'm gonna tack weld this in place here and uh, what I do I put a uh, I put me tape and a wet rag and tape across the bottom here so this won't heat up on the inside or the outside. So I put a wet rag on the inside and uh, a piece of tape with a wet rag up under the tape and uh, that way the heat won't rise up too far and mess all of this up. Then I sand this down. Well, I'm going to grind this down anyway and uh, body work and paint it. Uh, I'm going to just paint it with a single stage because you won't be seeing this anyway. 
So I'll just be doing this with a single stage here. But that's how that piece is going to go in there, guys. So it's going to come out just right. And then I'll finish up what I need to do in here. In fact, when I get this all cleaned up, I weld me a couple of pieces of metal in here first. And then I work my way out and finish this last piece up here. So that's the process. I'll come back in when I get this all grinded up and show you once I get this all repaired in here. Get all of this rust hole fixed because it's rusted inside of here too if you can see that right up in there so I gotta fix all of that. So I finally got this piece uh, pretty much in here. Um, up in there, it's all it's all patched up now. So I'm gonna just put some uh, uh, seam sealer uh, instead of you know I don't want to put no body filler in there or nothing. Straighten that out. Just take some seam sealer. It'll work like body filler, and I uh, smooth that out in that area. And uh, then I paint the top up there black, and uh, the chrome hides hides this anyway. So the chrome comes up to about here. So the chrome is gonna hide this anyway. So I'm not really worried about that. But uh, got most of the other chrome on this side so hopefully I get this done today get this painted I can jack this car down get it outside uh, take a few pictures of it send it in get my full coverage on here even though I'm gonna put it up for sale if it's sale this year you know I can um, if it's sale this year I can you know take the insurance off of it or put it on a different car and if it don't sell if it get hit it'll be insured you know but I, I still got pinstriping to do and I do all of that once I get it back jacked down and outside and but yep this is little stuff man I just even though I'm selling the car it was a hole down there that I forgot and I just had to fix that so you know I'm gonna just pour 15 this because like I say the chrome hides that down there but it was just a small you know and, and the bottom was kind of rusted out too the other side is fine but I I just wanted to fix it you know because like I say I might have this car another year if it don't sell if it sells somebody else will have it pretty quick so but if not it would be pretty nice while I'm riding it and I know I ain't got to worry about uh um rusting more and like I said I just like to do my stuff I'm just a certain way guys I just like doing my stuff uh, even though I could have did that spot honestly a lot better um, fabricated a lot better but I just wanted to seal up the hole cut out the rust get rid of the rust and seal up the hole so it could have been done a lot better than what I did it but it's gonna be better than just putting the chrome on there leaving that rust hole on there guys so you know all right so now got that chrome piece on there like i say i, I was able to patch that without re-clearing and painting that whole quarter because i was able to do it up under that strip there so all righty